As fall creeps closer and closer, drivers need to be more aware of deer on the roads. A new report shows Michigan drivers are at a higher risk for deer collisions. And as Fox 47's Christopher Lane shows us, it's important to be on the lookout. Mid-Michigan is one of the most dangerous parts of the state for deer, and Ingham and Jackson counties are right near the top. I couldn't imagine being much more. But new data says this year drivers will be 14% more likely to hit a deer than in 2015, and that means a lot of business for collision centers. It's a huge part of our business now. There's probably five months out of the year that it accounts for at least 20% of all the vehicles that we repair. And as Phil Tripp tells me, he's getting ready for the busiest time of the year for deer collisions. When the weather gets cold in the fall, that's when it starts. I mean, there are times when we see 25 a week. I mean, there's a, lo there's a lot of deer in Jackson and Lansing, both. That's why drivers are being told to be aware of their surroundings, use bright beams whenever possible, and to not get distracted behind the wheel, especially over the next three months. November is the number one month where those car deer collision crashes happen. October's number two, and December's number three. So we're geared up. We know they're coming. Which is why drivers are encouraged to stay alert while they're driving. Well, we've never been successful um, encouraging the deer not to cross the road, so we are educating drivers and just things that they can do. The most important, don't swerve if a deer jumps out in front of the car. We see people get hurt by swerving or the cars get much more damage. Best bet is just to brake and, and hit the deer. Drivers are also reminded to make sure they have their seat belts on so if they do have to stop abruptly, they stay safe in the car. Christopher Lane, Fox 47 News. The most dangerous time for deer is dusk and dawn. If you're on the roads around those times, be particularly aware. Remember, they will generally travel in groups, so if you see one deer, there are probably more nearby.